selecting varieties is probably the number one agronomic decision they need to make because that really determines you know what's going to happen the rest of the year on herbicide selection uh, you know fungicide selection you know if it needs to be irrigated non-irrigated other things like that so. in the variety testing any given year we test anywhere from 350 to 380 varieties and so an uh, individual farmer of the of those varieties, you know, they're only going to probably plant five or six at the most, you know, to kind of spread their risk. And so we try to put together as, as many tools as we can in publications to help farmers decide this variety is going to work on this particular field because, you know, it has, you know, disease resistance that I've had in the past or nematode issues or, uh, you know, looking at herbicide tolerance, you know, I'm looking at a certain herbicide I'm going to use. I need to look at, you know, these particular varieties. The one publication is our Arkansas Variety Performance Trial that, that is conducted by the University of Arkansas Division of Ag every year. Uh, we look at uh, silt loam uh, locations, uh, sandy locations, uh, heavy clay locations, trying to get those varieties on as, as many environmental conditions, soil textures, and in different areas where we can get you know the best idea of how those are going to perform. The next publication is, is my uh, soybean update that I put out every year. Uh, we screen for you know several different disease reactions. You know, looking for susceptibility or resistance to certain diseases, uh, chloride sensitivity, which is becoming a big a concern in certain areas of the state. So, if you're a, a farmer that has some concerns with salt problems in your groundwater or on your you know particular fields, you can look at those excluder varieties to to try to grow a crop there that's not going to be you know, affected by the salt as much as some of the, the, the includer varieties. And then on top of that, we screen for you know, some uh, metribuzin tolerance, which is a herbicide used you know, early in the season to try to control some of the weed problems we're having now, especially with the, the glyphosate resistant weed issues that we're having now. So one of the things we're working on to, to help farmers make selections on variety is, is working with USB and the promotion board to develop an online variety selection tool. And some of the other states have that tool now and we're hoping just to kind of implement, take our information, incorporate it into the, the tool and then have an Arkansas-based tool. Probably the biggest challenge soybean farmers in the state have faced the last several years has been herbicide tolerance, you know, weeds. And so uh, we started with, you know, glyphosate resistant, you know, mare's tail and then palmer amaranth. And then this year in 2015, we uh, identified populations of PPO resistant uh, palmer amaranth or pigweed. That really is going to be a big challenge is because we've been relying on those PPO uh, herbicides to, to combat the glyphosate resistant weed problem the last several years. And so that includes your, your Valor Authority, uh, reflex, uh, flex star, you know, prefix combination uh, products that that we've really been relying on to try to control that that weed. And, and if we, you know, truly do lose that chemistry, it's going to be difficult to to farm soybeans in the state just because we really don't have very many more tools to to really control pigweed.